Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to move or rebuild a table as an online operation. This feature was added in Oracle 12.2. In a previous video, we discussed using shrink operations on tables. Using online rebuilds of tables is an alternative to that. It can also be used as part of a larger table space reorganization. Remember, even with an online operation, rebuilding a table is a big step. You also need to consider the space required to do this. For a period of time, you'll have two copies of the table, so you need the space to handle that. We create a test table with a thousand rows in it. We add a primary key on the ID column and an index on the created date column. We check the status of the indexes and we can see both are marked as valid. In releases prior to 12.2, we could move a table as an offline operation. A large table could be unavailable for an extended period of time while this operation completes. Checking the indexes shows by default they're left in an unusable state. We have to rebuild them to make them valid again. Adding the update indexes clause to the offline operation leaves the indexes in a valid state. From Oracle 12.2 onward, we can include the online keyword making the move an online operation. In addition to moving the table, this also leaves the indexes in a valid state. You can still include the update indexes clause, but it's not necessary. In terms of outcome, this looks similar to the offline operation with the update indexes clause included. But remember, the table has remained available for queries and most DML operations during the move. Parallel DML and direct path inserts aren't supported against a table with an ongoing online move operation. Some additional operations can be included as part of the online move operation. We rebuild the table with compression enabled using the compress keyword. We can reverse this using the no compress keyword. We can also change the table storage parameters. Remember to always take backups before any major reorganization operation, and even with online operations, I would consider the system at risk until the operation completes. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.